Hey Julie here from Copy What I Use for Revision and again today's video is going to feature memory techniques similar to the ones featured in the Dr. Chan GCSE Total Recall System. The one I'm going to actually feature today is one I learned over 10 years ago from uh, 8 times world memory champion Dominic O'Brien. He actually gets a mention in Dr. Chan's book as well because they have similar ways of actually revising facts and storing them to long term memory. Today's uh, vision technique, revision technique is going to cover the first 12 countries to join the EU. Okay, and we're going to learn them similar to the one I did yesterday when we learned the first 10 numbers of pi. For those who didn't actually manage to see that video, I'll pop a link at the bottom. But today, as I say, are going to be the first 12 countries, so it's got a bit of a Brexit theme, really, that joined the EU. Okay, so for this one, there's going to be 12 countries we're going to cover, so we need 12 different rooms because we're going to use rooms of the mind for this one, the way that I do it. So basically, I actually use the house that I used to live in over five years ago. Um, I haven't been this for five years, but I can still vividly recall these facts from that house just by memorising the rooms within the house. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. The first country we're going to memorise is Belgium. And to remember Belgium, we're going to put a bell in the one room. Okay, so my case is in my bedroom. There's a bell, a big, huge bell. I walk into the next bedroom and there's somebody uh, frying some bacon in there and that's going to remind me of Denmark, like Danish bacon. So we've got Bell for Belgium and somebody frying bacon for uh, Denmark. I then go into the Jack and Jill bedroom, a uh, bathroom, beg your pardon, and in there, there is a statue of the Eiffel Tower, which is pink with yellow spots. And then the next adjoining bedroom, there's actually Steffi Graf, the tennis player, sat there and she represents Germany. So just to recap, in bedroom number one, I have got a big, huge bell. In bedroom number two, I have got somebody frying bacon for Denmark. In the Jack and Jill bathroom, I've got a statue of the Eiffel Tower, pink with yellow spots. And in bedroom number four, I have got Steffi Graf, the German tennis player, to remind me of Germany. As I come out onto my landing, there's actually a Greece CD of the film Greece, and that reminds me of the country Greece. Then I go into another bedroom, and in there, there's gonna actually be Terry Wogan on the radio. Now, for those of you who are not sort of old enough like me to remember Terry Wogan, he was a well-known um, radio broadcaster from Ireland, and actually that's where the BBC's uh, building's named after now, Wogan House. Okay, so I can remember Terry Wogan, you could Westlife and you could put anything that reminds you of Ireland. Then in the, the bathroom then, I've actually got an Italian selling ice cream and that's going to remind me of Italy. So just to do a quick recap of what we've got so far, we've got Bell for Belgium, we've got Bacon Frying for Denmark, we've got the Spotted Eiffel Tower for France, we have got Steffi Graf, the German tennis player for Germany, We've got a Greece CD on the table in the landing, and that is to remind me of Greece. And we've got Terry Wogan, the Irish book, beg your pardon, that's my dog knocking my camera. Uh, we've got Terry Wogan, the Irish broadcaster, so he's for Ireland. And we've got somebody selling ice cream in it for Italy in the bathroom. Then in another room then, I've actually got a crackly radio, and that's to remind me of Luxembourg, because that's from the old days of Radio Luxembourg. Okay, you could have a Lux bar of soap, could be anything that makes you think of Luxembourg. And then I go to the, the final room upstairs then, where they've got two people actually playing over a net. And that's to remind me Netherlands. They're playing tennis in that room over a net, Netherlands. So let's just recap the first ones we've done. Isabel for Belgium, somebody frying bacon for Denmark, the Eiffel Tower for France. We've got Steffi Graf, the tennis player in the other bedroom and she represents Germany. The Grease Tape for Greece, Terry Wogan, the broadcaster for Ireland, somebody from Italy selling ice creams in the bathroom, so he's Italy, and a crackly radio for Luxembourg. And then in another room then, we've got people playing tennis over a net, so they're Netherlands. I go downstairs then into my kitchen, and there's an expensive glass of port. It's cost £300 for this glass of port, and that reminds me of, no surprise, Portugal. And you guys, as proof now of how long ago I actually learned this memory technique, the next room then has got who was the current Prime Minister at that time, who was Tony Blair. And he's actually holding a red cape with a bull coming through it representing Spain. So that's to represent the UK and Spain. Okay, so let's do one last recap to see how many remember. Belgium, Bell, Bacon Frying for Denmark, 
the spotted, yellow and pink spotted Eiffel Tower for France, Steffi Graf, the, the tennis player for uh, Germany, the Grease CD for Greece, then the next room then is Terry Wogan, the Irish broadcaster, then we have got the Radio Luxembourg, Crackling Radio, we've then got people playing tennis over the ne Netherlands, then downstairs we go down to a very expensive glass of port, so that is Portugal, and then you've got Tony Blair, who was the Prime Minister at that time, UK, actually holding a red cape, and he's actually got the ball coming through, represent Spain. So how easy is that to remember the 12 countries are that enter the EU? And it was particularly a, a point at the moment because of the all we're going through with Brexit. So I'm just going to recite the countries now, and as you can see, I've got nothing in my hands prompting me as to what they are. So I'll keep my hands up here so I'm not cheating, and I'm going to tell you the first 12 countries. So play along with me now, close your eyes and think of those rooms and those images. Let's go. Belgium. I can't actually try to take them off my hands. Belgium. Denmark. France. Germany. Greece. Ireland. Italy. Luxembourg. Netherlands. Port. Portugal. Then we've got UK. Spain. And that would have been under five minutes, it's just I've recapped and recapped for you. And like I said, I don't practice that and I can still remember it because that's how easy revision is when you know different alternative revision methods. And that's why I'm so passionate about sharing it with everybody so that more, pe more people have access to this knowledge, the same as me. So again, please feel free to like, share or comment if you found this useful. And I will also put a link to the Dr. Chan book. Again, I will make you away. I always, I'm always very... Um, transparent and saying that if you click on any of my links there is a chance I could receive a com uh, an affiliate commission but rest assured you won't pay any more whatsoever and the commissions do not in any way reflect in my opinions I actually only ever recommend products I've tried myself or I've, I'm currently using all right and I say it won't cost you any more should there be any uh, eligible commissions they'll be paid direct to me by the product owner all right, so that's it for today's video. As I say, I'll pop a link at the bottom to Dr. Chan's book and I'll also pop a link as well to Dominic O'Brien's book because I've got all these books in my house and I find them all useful in different ways and they all cover the same sort of revision methods. Okay, so that's it for now. Hope you've enjoyed it and I say speak to you again real soon. And like I said, please feel free to like, share and comment because it helps me enormously to know that I'm sharing things that you enjoy. Bye for now.